Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another Boruto episode review, and uh, this title for Boruto episode 8 is called uh, The Dreams Revelation, and the episode starts off uh, with I Iwabe, Denki, Boruto, and Shikadai over in a movie theater watching uh, a movie basically just about a story where there's like this ninja guy, he's like a hero, and stuff like that, and Denki and, and Shikadai seem kind of like mesmer mesmerized by like the whole character of uh, who he is I, I'm not gonna say his name because it, it's not really that important important of a scene but it kind of like makes a return I guess like as a reference to the beginning of, of the episode with Boruto later on because he actually wears like the same I guess eyewear that the character in the movie that they were watching later on in the episode but after that the, mov the movie's over and uh, you know Denki and Shikadai they're just like oh it's w uh, whatever he's like really cool and stuff like that but uh, Iwabe and Boruto actually disagree, basically saying that he makes it seem like the life of a ninja or a shinobi is much easier than than what it is. And to you know, to a certain degree, I feel like most people would 100% like agree with that because you know, a life of shino a life of a shinobi is never really the easiest thing ever. And uh, like they kind of start going off about the Hokage, and obviously you guys know the Hokage is Naruto, and he's going off saying like like uh, I think he's going off saying like Lord Hokage was a hero uh, during the Great Ninja War that happened before they were born, all of them, and uh, he must be really cool. And Boruto is just saying like his dad's nothing like that at all, you know that he oversleeps. Um, we kind of have like a little funny montage of uh, Naruto kind of just like fucking up all the time and he o he oversleeps and then he also puts on his shoes the wrong way and apparently he apparently he does that which is strange and uh, the other day uh he not to actually asked Boruto to give him an extra pair of clothes I guess and then he he walked Boruto walked in and then Naruto just looked completely exhausted you know and he's just basically going off saying like how his dad is lame and he's uncool and stuff like that. But the thing that he just... That's the only thing he sees. Boruto, the reason why he keeps on continuously, continuously saying that his dad is uncool and lame and all this is because that's the only thing that he's seen. That's that's kind of what he's only seen his dad. Like as in terms of just like a shinobi and the Hokage and stuff like that. He hasn't seen... Like what Naruto can actually do within a battle, he hears all this stuff about how his dad was a hero of uh, during the Great Ninja War and stuff like that. But he just keeps on continuously calling him lame and uncool and stuff like that. And we actually get a little bit of an insight of why Boruto continuously is not telling his dad or even Shikamaru, any anyone who's uh, who's higher up, like as a Jonin or whatever, from the original cast of Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Is because of the fact that he basically just kind of wants to solve like this mystery with this really this really weird shadow, like chakra or whatever, this shadow like creature being taking over uh, taking over people, and we actually have uh, a scene of Boruto actually creating th uh, three other shadow clones of himself, and they kind of go ahead and they start uh, kind of not really monologuing, but they go ahead and they start discussing the fact that like all this strange stuff has happened. Like only around like just the sequence of events of where he was around, uh, and just like the, the, he he also one of his shadow clones actually mentions the fact that maybe it's just like all this hallucination and it's uh, and that's like really all it is. But uh, Boruto, the real Boruto, is is saying it can't be in hallucination. Like it looks so real, you know. It look it just looks absolutely just real. How can it be in hallucination? And then they kind of just disregard that. And it, it, I, I just find it really strange how the fact that, you know, one of his shadow clones is Boruto, and he kind of like goes ahead and disagrees with himself, saying that, like, it's not this or that or whatever. And so we can we 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 continue on uh, basically just saying he continues on basically saying that yes he he wants to make the guy who's ever controlling these people with his chakra or whatever just. Like, uh, he wants to make him pay, you know, he wants to basically kind of get revenge or whatever, right? 
and we actually see another another scene with Shigedai and Boruto and uh, Mitsuki actually, and uh, they get, they're talking about how uh, his eye, his his dojutsu that's exclusive to Boruto obviously, could potentially be a Byakugan, and just for people who don't know, uh, no, it's it's not a Byakugan, and it's also not a Tensei Gon. Some people have been thinking that it's a Tensei Gon. And I mentioned that it's not a Tenseigon or a Byakugan because uh, actually uh, Toneri from Naruto the Last actually makes an appearance in the very beginning of the episode and actually towards the middle of the episode when Boruto is, is sleeping and he actually enters uh, his dream. He actually enters his dream saying that uh, Boruto's dojutsu, his eye, is going to shoulder the fate of the world. And he actually also mentions uh, like a comet past the earth or whatever in the beginning of the episode. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to really reference, but um, he kind of just says that. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, Toneri was in the episode, and some people might think that that's stupid, or some people might think that that's actually kind of interesting. Me, I'm just, I'm just kind of like whatever. I liked Naruto the last, but Toneri as like a villain, and with him having like the Tensegon, it was just like, eh, whatever, I didn't really care all too much but but him being in uh, Boruto now uh, kinda brings up what could potentially happen in future episodes which makes me uh, kinda curious to what could or could not happen and so uh, Boruto wakes up from his dream and then he sees a little bit of dist uh, distortion within uh, his right uh, his eye his right eye and then immediately he goes and picks up a mirror and then he holds it towards his face and then he sees that his eye is different and he can blatantly see it so it's real and he immediately just assumes that yes it's a Byakugan and he had awakened to Byakugan and remember how I said uh, he puts on like the eyewear from like the, the guy in the beginning of the episode excuse me when uh, Boruto was watching that movie and stuff like that uh, Him uh, Himawari walks in just to see him kinda monologuing by himself just kind of with with that on on his face it's really weird but then we cut to another scene uh, where Naruto and, and Shikamaru are actually uh, talking about this whole situation with with this uh, shadowy like being or, or or whatever it is right and they're just basically just saying like there's no way like, uh, it's really strange like they're just saying that people are acting really strange or just out of the ordinary and they're, they're saying that it probably doesn't have it probably doesn't have anything to do with Boruto. Naruto brings up the fact that maybe it's because he's the Hokage's son and uh, they're kind of like targeting him. They think that like whatever this creature or being is that controls the shadowy, the shadowy chakra or whatever it is possibly. I don't really know what the name of the bad guy. I apologize for that because I'd rather not call him like the main bad guy or this bad guy or that bad guy. But anyways, back to the scene. They completely disregard the fact that it's a, a, tar uh, a target uh, targeting uh, the Hokage son, which is Boruto, and they kind of mention also the fact that Boruto is a really nosy person who also who just gets into trouble just by himself, and that's who he is. So they think that it has nothing to do with Boruto, but even if we didn't know any information already before. I wouldn't have completely completely agreed with Shikamaru with him saying that because why would it conveniently happen around Boruto and then he would get this brand new dojutsu that only he obtains just by himself it really just kind of doesn't make any sense and then we have a and then we have another scene of Boruto basically just kind of monologuing by himself uh, Naruto he not and Shikamaru walk into the room and then uh, uh, Naruto uh, is talking about the fact about uh, Boruto says that he unlocked an awesome power towards his dead, which is Naruto. And Naruto's asking him what is this awesome power he's discovered. And Boruto immediately says that he's awakened to Byakugan. And then Naruto goes off saying that there's no way that he could have unlocked Byakugan because the Byakugan requires considerable training before he can actually properly use it. And once again, it's not a Byakugan because it doesn't look anything like a Byakugan. Uh, but Naruto also goes off the fact that 
you know, you uh, that he hasn't gone through any training to be able to unlock the Byakugan, so it doesn't make any sense. Now, Himawari, for those of you who know, she has a Byakugan without going through any training, and yes, that is true, but that is significantly rare for someone with Huga blood inside them to be able to, to unlock the Byakugan without any sort of training whatsoever. And then Boruto freaks out having this this freak out session with his dad saying like, Oh, you don't believe me? You don't believe that I unlocked Byakugan? Da -da 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 -da, right? And so they decide to go over to the, their grandfather's house, which is uh, the home of the Hyuga clan uh, with Hiyashi Hyuga and Hanabi Hyuga. And they actually are, yes, in this episode. And they, there was a little funny moment with uh, 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 Lord Hiyashi, Hiyashi Hyuga. Uh, you know, because he's shown to be like kind of like this stern, serious character for a second, and then he kind of just acts like like any other grandpa. He kind of acts like like any other grandpa that you might have in your life, who's always excited to see their grandchildren, of course, right? And like she starts hugging him, and Hanabi is the same way. It's it's kind of strange, except except she's not a grandmother; she is an aunt, and it's kind of just whatever. Uh, Hiyashi, Naruto, and and Boruto, they they walk inside, and then you know Hiyashi's basically just saying the exact same thing that Boruto, uh, not Boruto, I'm sorry, Naruto explained to Boruto, saying uh, he explains that it is a Keken Genkai passed through the Hyuga clan, and through only, and only through special training can you actually unlock the Byakugan. Actually, in some cases, not every member will unlock the Byakugan. Like they just can't awaken it. But of course, also with um, Himawari's case, you can unlock it without any training. But anyone who does doesn't mean they've completely mastered it. And so uh, Hiyashi goes ahead and then he walks outside. He has a little bit of monologue. He's conversating with Boruto still, even though he's walking out. And then he awakens his Byakugan just right outside, and he's like, "Yo, Boruto, we're gonna fight." And the, the episode just cuts off there. And I thought. And that's kind of basically the end of the episode, yes. And I really like this episode because it's not the same plot, basically, of all these other episodes that we've seen over the course of the last couple of weeks, right? This this actually is pretty much continuing the main plot of what we have been trying to learn of, and that's basically just a continuation of trying to learn this no this new dojutsu that Borzo has and this chakra cloak that takes over people and makes them significantly different from what they ordinarily are. And so overall this episode was very, very good in my opinion. Uh the fact that Toneri is in there is very interesting. Uh that doesn't make me hate the episode. It makes me kinda more intrigued of what he's actually gonna do in future episodes. Um, um, a little bit more of like character uh, characteristic of Boruto was a little bit interesting, I guess. Uh, seeing Naruto, of course, was pro was probably one of the better things because we rarely get to see him, honestly. Uh, not not to say that I want to see more of Naruto than Boruto, but you know, seeing a little bit of Naruto was a little bit exciting exciting for me personally myself. But uh, overall, like the uh, uh, the writing, the scripting was really good. Uh, animation was pretty good as well. Actually, the scripting was spectacular. It was very, very good. I, I, I think it was some of the better scripting that the, uh, all these episodes have had so far. And just overall, you know, this is basically just saying, like, we're going to pick up a little bit of pace. We've realized we're being really, really slow, and we apologize. And so now we're just going to finally move on with the plot of what you guys have been watching and been waiting for this whole time. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys d did enjoy the episode or this video, uh, be sure to drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, uh, be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. And there will be a link in the description to my Twitch channel. I'm actually going to actually leave I'm actually going to leave a link in the description to Swag Kage's video of basically explaining why Borto doesn't have a Byakugan or a Tensegon because I could explain it right now or in a different video but I believe that he explains it, that he can, he can explain it better than I ever can so I would highly recommend for you guys to actually go watch that video the link will be down in the description if it's not there then that means I forgot remind me in the comments and I'll link it
uh, down there and also in the comments myself just so you guys can just 100% see it. But yeah, that's the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. There will be a link in the description to my Twitch channel because I plan on Twitch streaming probably later uh, today or tonight. Depends uh, uh, if I'm not distracted by anything or I don't fall asleep in the middle of the day like I have been. But <laughs> that's besides the point. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.